how's it going? Welcome back to episode 500 of trying to finish my physical TBR. It's actually going surprisingly well. I have ordered a lot of books from the library, but thankfully they never come in that quickly. My library is so terrible at sending in books. The book I'm currently reading is My Year of Rest and Relaxation. This is a literary fiction book. So the main character is a recent Columbia graduate. Both her parents have died, so she got a massive amount of inheritance. And she's basically taking off a year for rest and relaxation, but it's actually to just do drugs and sleep. I started this book yesterday and I'm on page 134. Um, this book is really short, it's under 300 pages. It's 286 pages, so I'm planning on finishing this tomorrow. It's about six o'clock in the evening. I'm gonna get to page 200 today. I'm just getting really into literary fiction, just real life experiences. I think I'm at the age where I start to relate more to what the characters are going through or the scenarios that are happening. I can't really relate to sleeping all day and doing drugs like the main character in this one, but some, oh my god. <laughs> so I was reading a little bit and there was just like, there's been some scenes of her and some other people and I just really related to it and it brought up emotions, it brought up feelings um, with in my own life <laughs> and I just started writing in the book. I'm just writing randomly. And it's so nice to do that. I feel like I can't annotate books besides books that mean something. Because I mean, what am I going to annotate in a fantasy book? Wow, they shagged. I'm going to highlight this red. <laughs> so this week, I'm going to try to take off a few days off of work. Because next week onwards, I'm starting my placement. So I'm going to be working like religiously for six months. So I'm trying to have my rest and relaxation before that starts. I actually need to see how many holiday hours I have left. I will catch you later on. I want to die. I recorded myself talking. Or I recorded myself talking. I didn't. I forgot to press record and I just spoke about everything <laughs> that was happening. I have to do it again. Anyways, okay. It's not even 12 o'clock and there's been many achievements. First one, I finished the book. I finished my year of rest and relaxation. I think I'm going to give it four stars. I really did enjoy it. I really liked everything that was discussed. Depression was a main topic in this book. Once again, I'm really getting into literary fiction, so I'm enjoying these real life human experiences, human problems. That was the first achievement of today. The second one is that I roped my friends into hanging out today, hopefully. Uh, maybe tomorrow if I want to do something, because he has a day off today and tomorrow. And the other guy, I think he's just, you know, is chilling. Uh, that's still in the process. I do want to go to the cinema too, though, so I might ask them. I kind of want to see Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, not Jurassic Park. So we'll see anyway. The third thing, it's not an achievement, it's an unforeseen circumstance that has happened and I want to kill a donkey. I don't. So my old housemate sent in a picture into the group of what we have been charged. Okay, fair enough, some of the stuff. Okay, yeah, we lost some glasses. That's fair enough. But there's other things. There's other things I know for a flying fact that were there because I was the last person in the house. I was the last person in that day <laughs> you know and then it, they're like showing up that they're gone or they're damaged i'm like that's a lie <laughs> i was there i cleaned them all the other things the toilet holder cup holder thingy and bobber the thing you use to clean off shit i cleaned those guys i cleaned the both of them i got shit sprayed on me from cleaning them and they're telling me that we're being charged for them excuse me barbara I'm about to chop off your lungs. I do not understand. My housemate rang them anyways. I am flabbergasted. Another bad news. I was going to tell you yesterday, but I felt like screaming off my lungs. And I couldn't really do that to with a full house of six people now. Wait, is it six people? Three? Oh my god, yeah, there's six people in the house now. We have three students now. One came on Saturday. Um, but what happened? I got bit on my leg seven times. Not once, not twice. Seven seven in the same region i don't know if you can see my leg but it's by your kneecap all that area i can't show you because my legs are a bit hairy um and i don't really feel like um showing you my hairy legs and it's not like those little you know spot ones you get these are the big mother truckers that come up from your skin 
they're white and I think it's a spider or something I got bit from um because there was a spider right there for a while I just didn't do anything about it <laughs> and I got bit I got literally I felt it here yesterday I don't know what time maybe like five o'clock in this exact seat I felt it on my leg and then I was like okay I started itching my leg you know maybe just a small little itch no I looked at my leg I had seven fucking spots erupting from my skin um, they're really itchy right now. I put so much pseudo cream on them. So my options of my next book to read are either, I think, a YA, maybe it's like a higher YA, um, high fantasy, or a middle grade slash YA fantasy. So my options are quite uh, expansive. I can either read the Fallen Kingdom series or the Sumner series. Hello, it's me again. So I just read a review on Goodreads for the book. It was actually a really good review and I didn't even think about it, but it's actually really true. The book is really anticlimactic. There's nothing really going on. It's just going through the motions of how you'd feel if you were depressed, like really tired, finding life pointless. <clears throat> so it was really slow pace, which is obviously not something everyone would love. Um, but yeah, that was all I had to say. I have a itch leg. I don't know what to do besides itching. It's almost six o'clock and I finally made the arrangement of half six that I'm meeting up with my friends. Like I'm thinking maybe we just walk by the water, but then it's supposed to be raining. But isn't that just like a very cinematic moment, walking in the rain with your friends? And then we just get kidnapped by someone? Ugh, ideal. Um, well yeah, that's my plans. I'm going to watch more. I started Love Island, the season that's happening now. I have like 20 episodes to catch up on and I'm excited. I've watched like two or three so far. I'm gonna watch maybe a small bit of one now. Um, but yes. Hello friends, I'm on my way home. I had a great time with the friends. So you may be wondering, Sarah, what are you doing? What is this setup? I just did a video. Um, it was a bookshelf scavenger hunt thing. I need to put all the books back now. Like, let's do a little um time lapse maybe of me putting back all the books. I haven't edited it, so I don't know if it's actually good or not. When I do videos like this, like fun challenges. I don't think they're funny or entertaining at all. They're just the, you know, the raw footage, but they get entertaining once I edit them. So we're going to put all these books back. All done we're back to normal so this morning i picked up is it still this morning yeah still technically this morning because it's 12 o'clock or 10 past 12. um so i picked up the falling kingdoms by morgan Rhodes. this is a high fantasy ya book there's three kingdoms and it kind of ha look has the same layout of england i think a war starts to break out and there's a princess there's a rebel there's a sorceress so i'm on page 36 this book is 412 pages this is the map and then it has every character name for each um kingdom or not kingdom but section of the kingdom um which is helpful but also very intimidating knowing that i have to remember all these characters but so far i'm liking it already there was a killing that i did not expect i audibly gasped i'm gonna watch more love island today i'm gonna read Reading updates, I am on page 122 and they, there has been some incestual thoughts from the characters, from one character and I'm not a fan, I swear these YA fantasy books have a thing for love triangles. It's not evidently clear that there's a love triangle in this book so far but I know it will come. There's a love triangle in Akatar, Throne of Glass, An Ember in the Ashes, Slightly, um, Hunger Games, everywhere in the young adult fantasy genre. There's love triangles. Why do these authors love these love triangles? I'm hoping to finish this book before July. 
But I forgot how close July is to us. It's on, so July 1st is Friday and it's Wednesday and I don't think I'm gonna finish this book. So I haven't been reading a lot recently because I've been filming videos, I've been editing the videos, making the thumbnail. I've literally like five videos ready. It's been fun but my eyes are slightly coming out of my eyeballs and my screen time has been absolutely atrocious <laughs> because I've also been watching Love Island. Um, I watched Love Island yesterday for five hours. Absolutely beautiful. Love Davide. He's amazing. I was gonna film my... It's called June, like books I read in June. Hello, they're all here. But I looked at myself in the camera and was like, wow, Sarah, you are fat. Um, so that delightfully turned me off <laughs> recording that video. Also, I hate, I hate describing books because I'm so shit at remembering them and describing them. Probably gonna watch more Love Island. It's so weird when I'm not working, I have no like, you know, a focus, no goal. I'm just willy-nilly going through the day. So I just got bit on my foot another three times. I feel like I haven't updated in about two months. It's currently like half nine on Thursday night and I started watching the whatever thon reading sprints, the final ones, and then book browsing blog, she lays down a bay ass bomb saying that she mightn't be uploading more videos or sh that she's not gonna be like a content creator anymore. I'm like, flabbergasted excuse me woman i love watching her videos what um but yes there's a sprint happening right now for 45 minutes um i'm on page oh god i'm on page 242 of the fallen kingdoms um i'm enjoying it it really does so it says up here perfect for fans of game of thrones and it's not lying this book really gives me game of thrones vibes just like make it younger and also less good than Game of Thrones. I have been kind of going into not a reading slump, but because I've been watching so much Love Island, like I think I watched seven hours of Love Island yesterday. I read a lot today, I have to say, because in the morning I have a routine. I wake up, I have a cup of tea and I read at least 50 pages. Um, so that's been helping me. But it's the last day of June, July's tomorrow, whatever thon's ending book browsing blog she's not going to make any more videos well she is like randomly if she feels like the desire to but so sad i got bit another fucking four times <laughs> on my stomach and my hip and this time i actually saw the insect that was biting me it was a black small thing i killed it and then i saw it again on my wall like a couple hours later so the first thing i did i ran up the stairs threw off all my clothes hopped in the shower, got rid of my bed sheets, got rid of everything clothing wise that was visible in my room, threw them in the wash. My foot's swollen now because like I think I get like allergic reaction to these bites. So the first day is like grand, it's sore, it's good. Second day, swollen, itchy. That's what happened that's what's happening to my foot right now. And the ones on my, my stomach and my hip, they're like sore but they're not itchy but tomorrow they'll be itchy and then the ones on my leg the fucking ones i got seven on my leg there um they're still itchy but not as bad i love how i'm giving like an an analysis of these bites because i'm just so clued in now because i've gotten them so fucking much um but yes i'm gonna read now for a bit i think i might end the vlog here peace and goodbye